have long hair. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to sing for you, I promise. We're going to get into a breakdown today of how to play Other Side by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I uh, played you a little sample of uh, the opening riff on this song, uh, kind of the medley that you hear throughout uh, portions of it. I'm going to break down that little portion I just played, show you what you can do for the verse, show you what you can do for the chorus part. And there's also a solo portion in this song. Um, I'll show you a couple parts too. So got some chili peppers today. That's why I'm wearing the beanie for this video. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. Something I'll tell you is also for this song, there's an A minor played at one point. It requires a pretty good stretch. So if you do any kind of stretching activities that would be good for this, I struggle with it myself. But I'll get into that when we get to it. Let's lower the camera down and I'm going to break down uh, first how to play that little medley I played at the beginning that you hear in this song. Uh, make sure that you are tuned to open G so you want your low string in G, middle string in D, high string in G. Have a G chord. Let's move the camera down and adjust it. Okay. Try to get too much light glare on this. Let's move around where you can see my hands. There we go. Okay. So, how do I play that part? You're going to start this opening medley on your low string at the ninth fret for an E note. Going to move to the middle string at the seventh, which is an A note. To the ninth of the middle string, if you're tuned in open G, this will be a B note to a G note down here at the fifth fret of the middle string. Back to the ninth of the low, which is an E. Finishing up on the seventh fret of the low string, which is a D note. How it sounds slow, you're gonna hit this E note first three times. Move down to the seventh of the middle twice. You're going to hammer on to the ninth, back to seventh, move down to the fifth, back to uh, ninth on the low. So you hit that three times, back to the seventh on the low twice. No, I'm sorry, three times. And think about it a second. So let's put it together, sped up just a little bit. rhythm to it. So let's put it together. Plays it twice like that to open the song, then you know he gets into singing, how long, how long, that portion goes through that. Now, another option you could do with this, if you didn't want to go from a uh, seventh here down to the fifth or the G, if you just pluck this high string, it's also a G note. It doesn't sound quite as good to me, but it will work. You can hear it like this. Here, I hit it that time. Here, I come up and hit it. That's a G too, that's another option. Your hand never has to leave that position if you do that. But that's up to you. Uh, any way you want to play that, it's up to you. So now, let's get into the verse. The strumming pattern that you need throughout this song is just like this. It's just down, down, up, up, down. The first uh, chord you need sound like this. It's just down, down, up, up, down. Very first chord that you need when you get into the verses. This is where in the song he starts singing, 
I heard your voice through a photograph. That portion. You need an A minor. If you can't make this stretch, as I've heard others say with a three string, the minors are implied, just play an A chord. Down, down, up, up, down. But to make it, you'll need to borrow all the strings at the second fret, place this pinky on the high string all the way up here at the fifth. See where I'm hitting it there. And what I do for that, when I strum down twice, I only hit the top two strings. Come up twice on the high and middle. Let's see. Then down once. This is tough to make. It's a tough stretch. It also helps if you play this, keep your arm tucked in at your side. Sometimes it makes it easier to make that stretch. We'll do it again. That first chord, A minor. Here I'm playing that. Down, down, up, up, down. Now, so after an A minor, you're going to need an E minor, same strumming pattern. And to make that, you just need your ring finger at the fourth fret on your low string, your pointer finger at the second fret on the middle string. The high string is open, nothing is touching it. So uh, four, two, and then open at the bottom. That's your E minor. Okay, here's how it transitions during the verse. First two chords you need. Then you're going to transition to just an open G, down, down, up, up, down, to an A. So A minor, E minor, open G, and A. I'll put it together for you. This is what it sounds like during the verses. And you start back in the second verse the same way. There you go. Now we'll get into what we call the chorus when it goes back to how long, how long, that portion. You need four chords for that. You need an A, an F, a C, and an open G. You keep the same exact strumming pattern that we did. So to make the F, I kind of covered the A is barring at the second. F is basically a five, three, five. Ring finger at the fifth fret of the low string, pointer finger at the third fret of the middle, pinky on the fifth fret of the high string. There's your F. F is also made up here by barring all the strings at the tenth fret if you're tuned in open G. Then you got the C, barring all the strings at the fifth, open G. So here's what it would sound like for the chorus. into the verse. You got it. That's what you need for the verse and chorus for this song. There's only one part that's a little bit different. Uh, I think it's after... Fourth, fourth or fifth verse in this song, there's actually what you call a lot of verses to it. It gets to a part where he starts playing a solo and uh, it's got the lyrics, turn me on, take me for the hard ride, that portion. You need three chords for that. You need your E minor, you need your C, 
and a G. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, that's during that part where he's saying all that. Uh, Turn me on, take me for the hard ride. That portion. When he comes out of it, it goes uh, back into kind of the ending solo and ending of the song. They're back to that part. How long, how long? That portion, all you need to repeat all that at the end is what we just did for the course. Your A, F, C, and G. Just play that out through the end of the song. That's got a way for you to play the whole song. I did it uh, with an acoustic sim on my Roland Micro Cube. But that, that is all the parts that you need to play through the song Other Side by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, pretty good tune I liked off of uh, this album, California Californication album that came out in the late, uh, around 99, 2000 in that neighborhood. Um, so if you like this video, like this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe to the page. I am not monotonized, so not receiving any money. I just like uh, playing, and if I come up with a few different songs I haven't seen any lessons or tutorials on, I like to try to put them on here. Try to get some more videos to you more frequently. Uh, going to try to do another Red Hot Chili Peppers song for you, and uh, also a Kenny Wayne Shepherd song that's real easy to play. Uh, if you're just beginning out, only uses basically through three chords uh, through most of the song. So we'll get to that here in a bit soon. But until next time, we'll see you then.